What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to talk about Cylindrical Coordinate System. Okay, now if this is your Cartesian Coordinate System, X, Y, and Z, and this is your point P, your point P is defined by this position, by this position vector. Okay, now, uh, this position vector has three components. It has an x, y, and z component. Okay, now, the Cartesian coordinate, therefore, has three components x, y, and z. Now, in terms of the cylindrical coordinate system, okay, uh, we define the following components of the cylindrical coordinate system. First is the s component. The s component is the, uh, the length or the, uh, the shortest distance between your position vector to your, uh, your z-axis. So this is your s. Okay? So if this is an axis, this uh, s is the perpendicular distance from your point to the z-axis. Next would be the projection of this vector to the z-axis. That's z, which is the same as our uh, z, uh, the, uh, the same as the z component in the Cartesian coordinate system. Okay? Now, if we're going to project this in the xy plane, this in the xy plane, okay, this angle is your azimuthical angle. Okay? And that is your phi. So the, the cylindrical coordinate system, the components are S, V, and Z. The range of S, V, and Z are as follows. V can range from 0 to infinity. V, on the other hand, which is an angular component, is from 0 to 2 pi. And then Z can be from negative infinity to infinity. So these are the possible values of S component, V component, and the Z component. So the relationship between the Cartesian coordinate system and the cylindrical coordinate system is given by this. So X is equal to S cosine V. So remember, this is S as well, the projection of this vector to the xy plane. And then y would be S sine phi. And then z is the same as z. The cylindrical coordinate system is actually used in uh, if the symmetry of your uh, system is cylindrical. So this is used for systems like straight wire. Uh, uh, cylindrical wire or any uh, any uh, system that has a has an axis a straight line axis okay so the unit vectors which is given by s hat p hat and z hat okay so your s hat will be along this direction, pointing away from the z-axis. This is your s-hat. Your z-hat is pointing the same as your z-hat in the Cartesian coordinate system. And then p-hat would be the same direction as you are, what you have in your, uh, in your uh, spherical coordinate system. Just along this direction. This is p-hat. Perpendicular to 
S. Z and S and Z are also perpendicular to each other. So just like your X, Y, X hat, Y hat, Z hat, and your R hat, theta hat, and phi hat in spherical coordinate system, the S hat, phi hat, and Z hat are also mutually, uh, mutually uh, perpendicular to each other. And the relationship between x hat, y hat, and z hat with s hat, p hat, and z hat are given by this. s hat is equal to cosine theta x hat plus sine theta p hat, a uh, y hat. p hat is equal to negative sine theta a uh, sine phi x hat plus cosine phi y hat and then yes as you expect z hat is the same as your coordinate system so in other words z hat is constant it's all it always points along the z direction on the other hand as you change the position of your vector of your point so that means the direction of s hat and phi hat will also change accordingly so that means s hat, phi hat are not constants, whereas z hat is a constant just like s, x hat, y, and y hat. Okay? So that is your cylindrical coordinate system. In the next video, we're going to introduce to you the infinitesimal length and the infinitesimal volume elements in cylindrical coordinate system. So that's all for now. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you learned something today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.